Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and I'm coming to you today with another Goodwill Outlet Ben's Haul. So for those of you all that are not familiar with the Goodwill Outlet, it is a pay by the pound. Um, they have books, electronics, shoes, clothes, really anything you can imagine. Um, for the most part, you do pay by the pound. My outlet or bins, as they are most commonly known as, are $1.49 a pound for all textile items. And so I spent today about four hours there. Let me grab my receipt here. <clears throat> I got 25.6 pounds worth of merchandise and I spent a total of $45. So everything you see here um, goes into that. I did get a couple of little um, home goods um, and the rest of it is clothing and shoes. So we will just get into it. Um, I will show you some things that I got for myself um, or our home, as well as the things that I got for resale. So, and the first couple of things I got for my um, daughter, my youngest daughter, she's 18, but she collects stuffed animals. And so this was the first thing I found was this little armadillo. How cute is this? It was so cute. So I got that for her. I know that's not a big ticket thing, but anyway, it was just darling. I had to get it. Um, this is one of the other things I did get for her that I found. She collects Squishmallows. And this one is the baby deer with the spots. And yeah, it's got the little tail. It's so cute. I have found several of these for her at the bins. Um, these things are not cheap retail. Um, usually they just have some surface um, dirt that needs to get washed out. So I typically just give them an overnight bath and OxyClean and they come out looking great, but I've actually found several of these um, at the bins, and it's it's ones that I've not even seen retail um, near where we live, so this was a huge find. Um, anytime I find one of these at the bins and send it to her, it's always a good day, so that is our baby deer. We'll put her back here, and she'll help us get through the rest of this video, all right? Um, I did get this wooden sign that says Mary, um, I like picking up little home goods and so we'll get that and that will be something we'll use at Christmas. Um, I am starting to pick up vintage children's books. Um, and I'm starting a tote and I've been going to the bins now for about two years and um, one of the things that I have really started thinking about is all the unique things that I find um, for children, whether it be clothes, books, vintage type things that are one of a kind items. And so I'm actually gonna start some totes at my house um, to keep things for the future and um, for grandbabies in the several years forward to come, but things that I know that I would probably most likely never find again. And this is one of the Treasury of Little Golden books. Um, this book is actually from, um, it was a book that was in the 50s. This one was actually printed in 1982, but it is in gorgeous condition. Now the books are a different price. I believe they're around 59 cents a pound. Um, but this has got stories. It's got 30 stories like the pokey little puppy. Um, <clears throat> let's see, and just some really, really cute pictures. And I'm, I'm in my 40s, so these are the stories that I grew up on. So I'm excited to have that and get, that'll be my first um, vintage children's book that will be going into that tote. So we'll put Sorry that about that here. All right, so, and then the last home goods item I got that I will show you all is I got this cube footstool. It's in great condition. Um, actually our front porch decor right now is um, these colors with some blues. And so I got this to put on our front porch. It's just one of those cube bean bag um, fit stools. So I've actually been looking for one of these retail and haven't purchased it yet. It is removable with a removable cover. It has a zip cover. So I was excited to find this. Um, saved me probably 30 or $40 from having to buy it retail. So I was happy with that. So, all right. So now we're going to get into the good stuff. The good shoes, clothes. Let me get a drink. I'm literally fresh home from the bins. Um, <clears throat> and they're about an hour and 20 minutes away from me. So pretty good, a little hike, um, go up, try to get up there about once every two weeks. 
So <clears throat> actually on top, it is my biggest um, item of the day in terms of size, but then also I believe it's probably gonna be my biggest item in terms of resale value. I had never heard of this brand before. Um, this is Dublin. If you know anything about this brand, put it in the comments below. This was just a waterproof shaft boot. Um, it is a size 38. Eight. It says made in China. I wasn't really, I picked them up at first and was getting ready to put them back. It's a PVC sole with a polyester liner. But I was getting ready to put them back and I thought, well, I'll just look up comps. I mean, they are in good condition. They need washed, um, but not a lot of wear. You can see on the soles. I mean, toes, heels, everything's in good shape. They're just a little dusty, dirty. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, dusty. <coughs> Excuse me. Until it's been a Ben's day. So, <clears throat> anyway, I looked up comps on these. And I've seen comps anywhere from $85 to $150. <clears throat> oh, Poshmark. So, I thought, you know what? I'm going to grab these little suckers. <laughs> so, hopefully, I'm excited to get these listed and see how they do. Um, this is this is one thing I love about the bins is, you know, in $1.49 a pound, these probably cost me maybe about $3, I would say, 3 three to three fifty. dollars um, But that is one thing about the bins is you can really get in there and experiment with some things. Um, in, the, in the event these end up selling for $20, um, I'll make a profit on them. Um, hopefully that's not the case, but that is the positive thing about the bins. You can really test out some things that you've not used before. Some other shoes. Um, I actually just got these for me. These are just Birkenstock, the vinyl. They're the Birkenstock dupes. Um, they're the vinyl ones that are very popular right now in like a charcoal color. So I found these for me. They were my size. <clears throat> this is another, this is a brand I love picking up. I have a 100% sell through rate on this brand. These are a little dirty, but um, I've never had trouble getting these cleaned up. I typically just throw them in the washer. On, a, and on these, I'll do a low spin because of the detail. But this is Flip Flop, Fit Flop, F I T F L O P. And it is a wedge and it's a faux suede. And you can see it's got like this rosette design. I've never seen these before. These are what the bottom look like. Um, they are they are a little dirty, but they are in great condition. Um, the toes, all those, um, no issue whatsoever. And these are a size 11, which is even better. Great, great size for that. Um, so I will get those washed up and get those out. One other pair of shoes, I believe. No, two other pair of shoes. Okay, this is a pair of <clears throat> Franco Sarto. And these are, and I'm not sure, I couldn't figure out if these were actual leather or faux, faux suede upper, but it is just this lace up, open toe, stacked wood wedge. They are in excellent shape. Very little signs of wear. Um, I'm not sure what this, oh, here we go. It's a fabric upper, okay, but these are a size nine. They are in great condition. There's the rubber band. I was actually very fortunate. The majority of the shoes today were rubber banded. I did find one single um, that I was never able to find the match for, but other than that, I didn't have any trouble. Um, but these are so cute. They're in great condition. So hopefully get, you know, around maybe 30 to 32 for these. And they're a great color too to transition even into early fall. And then the last pair of shoes I got, rubber bands here. I found these and felt these and I thought these have to be something. Um, and it is a long, just slip on shaft, light gray, um, calf boot. It does have a mirrored, if you can see that, mirrored accent. Great, very little wear. Toes are perfect. Leather sole. These are Donald J pliners, and they are a size six medium. But these are these are gorgeous and in gorgeous condition, especially for the bends. And these are the Carmack boot, and they are in a size six. So these are so nice and I can't tell and it may even tell further down in there, but I can't see it. So I'll look up that style name to find out whether these are 
um, a fabric or an actual suede. I really can't tell. Um, they feel like real suede, but I will not put that on the listing without verifying that. So that is all my shoes. And so now we're gonna get into clothes. <clears throat> so one of the things that I have really started enjoying picking up is vintage children's clothing. I'll move my little Aunt Ada there. Um, I've really started enjoying picking up vintage children's clothing. They are one of a kind pieces. Um, they do well for me, they sell well for me um, because of that purpose. And um, people are just looking for really cute, neat things for their kids to wear that aren't the every other day. So I found this dress, it is so cute. It's got ruffles, flowers, the little square top neck. This is Edge Hill Collection, made in Madagascar. It is a size 3T. It zips up the back, but it is so cute. It's got just a lined little skirt here below. Very well made, very nice, a very nice feel to it. So I'm excited to get that listed. Um, this is one of the things that I actually picked up to go into my tote at home with the vintage children's books was any cute little um, children's clothes that I found that related to anything that we liked or that our kids liked. And I found this little Star Wars burnout sweatshirt. It's a 12 month. So that is gonna go into my children's tote. Okay, I'm back. I heard a dog barking and I thought it was mine, but it was not, so. All right, so the next thing I have for you all um, is actually, I have never found this brand before. I knew I had heard it on videos. Um, I brought it home and I still wasn't sure what it was. I had looked up comps on it before I got it because it is a more substantial piece. And my 18 year old daughter recognized the brand name. I recognized it just from hearing it, but she knew exactly what it was. This is Savage Fenty. This is Rihanna's line. Um, and this is a size medium. I'm gonna have to maybe stand up for this. Um, let's see, I'm not sure that that'll even help. This is like a hooded sweatshirt. It's got the logo here. Full jumpsuit with the cuffed pant. And it has the Savage Fenty down the side. Um, just, But it is just a one piece zip up jumpsuit. And it is that jersey knit. Um, I looked up comps on this at the bins. I don't do a lot of comp checking at the bins unless I feel like it's gonna weigh a lot or if I just feel like it's a really risky piece that it will sell it all. But I did look up comps on this and they were going from anywhere from 68 to about $88 for this exact jumpsuit. So this was an excellent, excellent find. I was happy to find it. The next piece um, is, I did not see a size, but it's do everything in love. And I got this for style. Um, it is just a long line sweater, very boho. Um, it's striped in the back. It, has, it says perfect um, camel and cream colors. The neck rolls down. It does have front pockets, just a long line sweater duster. Uh, great transitional piece to go into fall with. The next piece I have is Lucky Brand. It's a double zero or size 24. And these are the Boyfriend Bermudas. And they are just a distressed, destroyed. They're very, very cute. They are a button fly. So I'll be getting these up fairly quickly. Um, we are in the end of June now. So definitely wanna get that up pretty quick. Here is another vintage kids dress that I did find. This is Ellen Miklas, which really means nothing. 100% cotton, made in the USA. And this is a, a size six. And it is long sleeved. It has the little gathered wrist. And this is just lots of bright florals. It does have the little sailor collar. Um, just a long line little dress, buttons up the back. Very, very cute. I actually got this for myself, um, but I could potentially end up listing it. It is a Talbot size 12, and I'm finding that Talbots and Chico's, some of those mature women's brands, I used to not pick them up that much, but I'm finding that they're doing um, very well on Poshmark. So this is just a pink, um, lightweight blazer. It's got 
the cuffed sleeves, the ruffle detail in the front, and the neck and the back. This is just a good transitional piece. I think it's good for summer, um, spring, even going into fall. That'll make a very pretty, pretty addition to an office wardrobe. And it could also be casual with a pair of jeans and a white t-shirt. Um, this is Umgi size large. I don't pick up Umgi a lot, but I will typically at the bins, but I got this based on style and season. It is just a romper. It is a snap front with these, if I can hold on to it, the shorter bell sleeve and then the shorts um, and then the boho tassel, very boho, um, floral, watercolor. Those will be types of keywords I will use. The next piece I got, this is Madewell, and this is the old tag of Madewell. It has the year, the 1937, and this is an XXS, so an extra, extra small. I typically don't pick up the old Madewell tag, and I really don't like to pick up the really small sizes, but I got this based on style and feel and fabric. This is just a striped button up. Um, not sure if you can see the material or not. It is truly like, a thicker flannel. Um, I'm assuming it's, let's see, 67% cotton. Um, but it does, it is much more substantial. Um, and that is why I got it. It does have pockets on the side as well. So it could be used as a layering piece. It would be a great transitional piece from fall into winter. It does have a heavier weight to it. The next piece I got was for myself. This was just loungewear for home, secret treasures, nothing special, but I like this. It was cute. It's um, cuddles and coffee. I just thought that was really cute, and that looks like something that I would be wearing around the house on Saturday morning. The next piece is, okay, this was one of my good finds too. This is Zara jeans. You can see that. And this is just a black denim jacket just snap front um, it's got a little bit of intentional fading to it let me see if i ever seen a size on this yep this is a large that was another reason i got it so it is a size large um very cute and a great piece to go into fall with um so i was happy with that this right here, I just got basically to either bundle or give to my daughter. This is just a free people, boho, very sheer cotton little bucket bag. Um, so this is not something that I would list, but um, if my daughter wants it, she can have it. If not, then I will probably, you know, maybe one of my more expensive free people items that sell, I may throw that in there as a as an extra into that bundle. The next piece I got for style, um, it does not have a brand tag, I believe. It does not have a brand tag or a um, size tag. It does have a style number and it says it's June 2019. So I may look that up just to see, but I don't think I'm gonna list it. My daughter already spotted this in my bag. So it is just one of those eyelash sweater, just a naughty, knit oh it's got a hole in it so just just seen that um which if she wants to keep it that's fine i won't seal it that way but we can um we can sew that up for her that's not a problem but very cute very cute going into fall it is so soft and silky um but yeah as soon as she spotted this she fell in love with it so we'll just get that sewed up and give that to her so this <laughs> So I pick up Christmas sweaters year round. I do not care. I have a separate tote that I keep any type of Christmas items in. And typically going into September, I'll get all my Christmas, September, October, I'll start getting all my Christmas stuff photographed, ready, and getting it up no later than mid-October. Um, I love picking up unique Christmas clothing. This right here is no exception. So this right here is a hooded poncho with sequences, true glove pockets with a scarf, and then the, the hood is actually Frosty's hat with sequence and the nose and the eyes. How flipping cute is this? And then the bottom 
is like the eyelash texture ribbed. I love this. I thought this would be awesome. I honestly don't even know that I want to sell it. So <laughs> this is United States of Sweaters and it's a large or extra large. And they make some of the cutest Christmas items. Um, but this was in great condition. Oh, well, look at that. It actually still has the security tag on it. So I'll have to figure out how to get that off. Sometimes I probably wouldn't um, deal with it enough to list it. I may even just take it and donate it to Goodwill and let them deal with it. But this is so cute that I will make sure and get that security tag off of that. I love this. I love this so much. All right. <clears throat> Next piece is this pair of green leggings. You can see the detail here. It's just um, starting about right above the knee, it gets to where, um, let me put my hand in here and you can see what I'm talking about. It has this netting and these are Fabletics and they're a size medium. I don't pick up Fabletics a lot to sell anymore, but these were in excellent shape. They had such a unique style and they are very high waisted. Um, so I think these will actually do fairly well. Um, I need to look and see if I can get the style name. I've not really even had time to research this stuff yet as like I said, I just got home. Um, but I'm excited to see um, what the style name is and kind of get an eye for that because the feel on those is really good. And um, I got these for myself, Sweet and Corny. They're brand new socks um, for Halloween. I love holiday type socks. <clears throat> This is um, a brand, I believe, and you can tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. Obviously, I'll look it up before I list it. There was no tag in it, so I do not know the size, but it does have this moon on the back. And if I am correct, I believe that's the Zaya Active brand. Um, if I'm wrong, tell me. <laughs> But I will look up that emblem on Google Lens and verify that before I list these. But these are like a gray camo, high-waisted legging. They're in excellent shape. They feel wonderful. I've never found this brand before. I actually have a couple of friends that sell this. Um, but I've not purchased them before and I've not found them. So I was excited to find those today. The next item is just a white Lululemon bra. There's the little, and um, the size on these was a size eight. It, it does have a place for the bra inserts. They are missing, but that's that's really not an issue. Not sure if I sell this. My daughter may take it if it fits her. Um, Lululemon sports bras really don't bring in much for me unless I lot them together, so. This is Victoria's Secret. This is an extra large. And it is just a shelf bra night shirt, ruched at the front with lace, just very girly, has a very, very nice feel to it. A scalloped, little scalloped hem here at the bottom. I'm not sure on the style name of this, um, but it's a nylon elastane blend. So I really like that, I thought it was pretty. Um, so we'll see about that. Uh, this was another great find. So this, I found this bathing suit, very cute. And I felt of it, it actually still has the liner in, so it's never been worn. Um, and it is, so I'll be listing it as new without tag. It is Miracle Suit. And it is a size 14. So Miracle Suit, size 14, still has the panty liner in, um, padded cups, Miracle suits do really well for me. Um, I've got a 100% sell through rate on those. I typically sell them. The ones I've had before have, have not been new without tag. They've been used and I've sold them for around 48 to 50. So um, hopefully getting above 50 for this one. It's very pretty colors, lots of ruching in the front. And um, I'm, I was really, really excited to find that. That was one of the first things I found. Um, let's see here. A couple of those are just, just some regular bras. This I got for myself. This is Under Armour size large and it's just a black um, thin quarter zip. Just a little running top. 
And then I got another one here, um, Old Navy, size large, and it's the same thing, just a, just a pink running top. That's the thing about it, the bins too, though. I mean, even stuff like this Old Navy top, I mean, you would pay at least, even on sale, you're gonna pay 10 to $12 for that um, on sale. And so you're getting this at the bins for probably a dollar. Um, the next piece is, this is Chico Travelers, it's a size two. It's just a black shimmer, um, basically layering piece. I actually got this for myself. Um, I do work in an office most days. Um, and so um, I did get that to be able to wear for work. This is just a Zena Outfitters size large. I love picking up different bras. Um, and this is just one of those lace halter type bras. I actually got that for myself, <clears throat> so we'll see. Um, the next piece, this is the brand Lathe or Leith. This is a size large. This is such a pretty sweater. It's very lightweight, would be perfect for spring. Um, even, even early, early fall, it has this draping ruffle detail down to the wrist. Very, very pretty. Um, I was excited to find this. I've had a couple of, of leaf or leaf pieces and they've done well. Um, <clears throat> and that, it's a very creamy white sweater. So to find it at the bins and for it to be in great shape, I was really, really excited. Um, next piece, this is J Jill Denim. It's a size large. It is just a chambray top with these balloon ruffly type sleeves, very, very boho, very soft chambray. It almost feels, let's see what this material is. It feels different. Yeah. hundred percent, um, tensile live sale. So I'll definitely notate that. This is a large petite actually. Yeah. So very, very cute. Has a great feel to it. Great drape. Um, let's see. This here is soft surroundings, which I've not found in a while, but I love finding. I, I have a 100% sell-through rate on that as well. It is an extra small. This is just a waffle knit. Very heavily, heavily embroidered at the top and in the back. Um, and then again at the wrists. This shirt is very cute. I'll list things like boho. Um, <clears throat> and the the only thing with soft surroundings is I do like picking up larger sizes. So had this been at Goodwill for four or five ninety nine at an extra small, I would not have picked it up. However, being at the bins and the detailing it has, um, then it's definitely worth a try. Probably paid around a dollar for that. <coughs> a couple more things. These aren't clothing, but I did find several lace doilies. And so I'll probably lot those together, um, use words like cottage core. Um, and then I found a couple of pieces, which I think I may keep for myself. We're in the middle of doing a home renovation and we're getting ready to work on our sunroom, which is going to be more of type of an airy type cottage feel. And so I found these, these are hand stitched runners. If you can see them, they're so pretty and they're in great shape. This one has a very little teeny tiny small hole you can probably see right there, um, but that's really not a big deal. That can actually just be fixed with probably a couple of stitches, um, especially for my own use. And then this one, it does have a stain on it, but it's one that I should be able to get out because um, it feels like it just hasn't been washed. Again, this is a hand stitched runner with a, with a lace trim. It does have a little bit of damage to the lace there, but again, that can be fixed the floral there is so cute and then the last find and this actually was wrapped up in everything so um, this is not clothing but I found this this is a vintage raggedy Andy bank so and it still has the plug in it and I'm not I'm not sure I'm assuming this could probably be worth something I'm really not sure if it is or not and again I may just clean it up and keep it and put it in my tote of vintage children items. Um, and, you know, potentially pass it on one day. So I was excited to find this. I thought it was really in good condition. Um, 
and it, it only had one area I could really find that was an issue and it was one little edge of hair right here and you can see where it's a little chipped off but I, that really doesn't matter to me I think it's just precious so I was excited to find that so that is my last piece for this Goodwill Bins haul leave me a comment below tell me what you think what was your favorite thing that you've seen um, if you like this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel if you like content like this. Um, I'm a newer channel growing and um, everything that you do um, helps me grow that channel and put out more content for you all. So thank you for joining me and I will see you all again soon.